Hello everyone, this is Brian Paulette, Painter Master. Today, we're gonna be learning how to have fun with papers. So here's a file that I prepared for this. We can ignore all these bright colors because we're just gonna use these as reference and collections and whatnot. We're going to fill these with textures really quick to kind of get our piece going. So let's start with this pink guy over here. I can select him by control or command and just clicking right there on that guy. And I, I want to keep this to select for later, so I'm just going to make a new layer above him. And I kind of want this guy to have more of a simple texture. And I'm going to use dull Conti because these paper textures only work with certain types of brushes in Painter. The chalks and the contes and the watercolors kind of make a really nice effect. Anything that has that you any traditional medium that would adhere to the texture of the paper. And what I'm doing here is I'm inverting it. I like this orange and blue. So that guy's looking kind of nice. Yeah. I'm going to go back to my orange. I want to make it a little brighter, a little more saturated. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Cool. That guy's looking all right. We're gonna go over to my turquoise guy. We do the same thing. And we're gonna make him more organic. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna select a more organic looking texture. There we go. So now he's got kind of these cool inner workings about him. Interesting stuff going on inside here in his mind. Let's get another texture, make it a little lighter color. Orange. Yeah, there we go. Now we're starting. To, now we're getting somewhere. layer of the tech the papers layering over each other maybe I want a little bit of a blood a veiny kind of look and take it more towards magenta and let's reduce the size of this there now he's got lots of veins lots of veins Maybe what I should do before I do that is create a little more of a, a fractal or geometric look that's darker so that those veins pop a lot more like that. Yeah, that's nice. That's a nice base. Now we'll go back to the veins, take it over here, make it a little lighter. Now those pop a little more. Now it looks like he's got all sorts of stuff going on in his body. Maybe I want some pollen, kind of blood cell looking thing going on somewhere. bunch of layered objects in here, layered textures. We 
maybe get this nervous system here. And if you want to hide this selection, you just do Control, Command, Shift, H for hide. Maybe I want to take these veins and put veins inside the veins. Texture him just a little further. That seems about right. We'll take our last guy. We'll do the same thing. And let's make him maybe a little more organic as well. Ooh, that's something. Light on dark. Maybe throw in a little more geometric patterning in here. There we go. Just like that. Layer again with some dark. get some of this fractally stuff, fractal trees throughout. And come back in with that geometric molecular looking. face inside of him. Kind of a glowing effect that we can do if you really press hard. Okay. That looks nice. Looks cool. Now, we want to do the background. So, before I do this background, I want to make the background on a separate layer other than the canvas because if I paint on the canvas, my texture becomes less editable, and I want to edit it later. So I'm going to take this hex pattern, and we're going to see how this works. And it lines up pretty well, actually, to what we're doing here. Pretty good, but I think I want to edit the color a little bit. Instead of inverting it, what I can do is I can make a layer underneath, and I think I want to take a darker color, like a blue or maybe just a red straight up. I actually do want to invert this. But I only want to edit this darker layer. And I want to take my glow brush and start placing these glow effects around the heads. There we go. That's looking nice. Trippy man. I can select this layer. Remember, if I want to hide it, Control Shift Hide. And I want to make this orange, mostly orange guy, pop a little more. Darker. Maybe 
maybe go back to this layer with my glow brush. Make his side pop a little more. There we go. And let's get to these like yellow pieces over here. And let's make this more organic, fractally. Let's make it dark color to start with. Same thing I did before. Let's take a really bright red though. Invert the. Yeah, now we can really see those patterns showing through. Maybe take my glow brush, make it glow a little bit. some areas. We'll do the same for these purple pieces down here. Maybe I want something more geometric down there. Contrast all this chaos going on. Invert that. Now we're getting some really bold, colorful textures here. And if I want, if I like this, I can continue with just regular papers, and I can start outlining this guy so he pops a little more, maybe give him a chin. Expand on the details. So, go out, and if you haven't checked out the new Painter 2020, go check it out right now. Check out the papers, check out the patterns, go check out all the new brushes and cool stuff that they have. It's a really fun software. Go out, make art, have fun fun enjoy your life and thank you so much for watching <gasps>